Hello guys, my name is Khan and actually in today's video I will show you guys that how you can add image to your shiny dashboard and how you can add a video in your shiny dashboard. So before starting I will show you guys that I will be using this folder and I will be using uh, a code file that I have previously constructed uh, for animated slider input. In my previous video, I have gone through in detail that what I have done. But in this video, I will be more talking about that how we, you will be able to import a picture or a video file into your shiny dashboard. So within this folder where my this code file is located, I have also created a www folder. So I will be telling you that what's the importance of this folder. So if you need to add this, uh, add images or a video file to your dashboard, you may need to construct a folder, this www, within the, at, within the folder where your code file is located. And within my code file, within this www folder, I have this picture and I have this video file, video one to three. And so, there are also some other ways that uh, for which you don't need to have construct this folder you can simply place the picture uh, within uh, within the same folder where your code is located uh, and the r shiny will automatically import that image from that folder uh, there are two different ways i will go through e each way one by one so i will first open the code file So this is the code that we have constructed before. I will just quickly run this code to show you guys that what I have made, what this code, existing code is doing. So this existing code we have uh, we had uh, an animated chart, a bar chart. So if I play it, 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 it keeps on just, uh, changing according to this slider input. But in this video, I will not talk about the slider input and what this graph is doing. We will be talking about how we will be able to import uh, images to our shiny. Uh, so what I will do. So the first thing that I want to do, or I will want to tell you guys that uh, that there are some. Uh, so the, when you use shiny package. The, the shiny package comes up with some HTML tags or you can say HTML functions which we also used in a previous video. So the H4 is a kind of is actually a HTML tag. So if you want to know that how you know, which kind of tags a uh, sh uh, shiny library provides you can simply uh, write down here names and then tags. So these are the tags that we comes up with the shiny library. So again, you can see that we have used h1, h4, these kind of tags before. We have also used, I think, dir uh, tag, which is somewhere here. Uh, so we will be using, so here you can see that in this video, we will be using this video tag and we will be using uh, image img I think it will be written down somewhere here here it is so we'll be using these two tags HTML tags for this video so let's go back to the code and the first thing I want to do that under my main panel uh, after this uh, text output or plot output I want to have an image uh, which is coming from this www folder and I want this folder if this picture to be added into my shiny dashboard how can I do this so in order to do that I'll be writing down again note down that I am currently in my main panel and I will write down within my main panel I will say comma and I will start writing down down here I will write down Okay, in order to uh, add an image, I will be using a function image. So, but its image is a, uh, a 
HTML tag. So, so it's, uh, you can simply write down image like this, or the, I think the better way will be to write down tags dollar image. And this thing will be coming when you will upload the shiny library in your R. And within that, so you guys will be not seeing that h4 is also a, a HTML tag. Why I haven't write down a tax dollar image? Here you can also write down tax dollar image. It will not give any error, but it's a good practice to write down tax dollar image. So you will come to know that uh, you are using HTML tags. And after that, I will be writing down it because I have to tell where the source of the picture located. So for that, I will be doing SRC is equal to. So the picture name is pick one dot png. So I know that name is png, but because of this, because of this image tag, uh, the the R will go to the folder where this code is located, and within that folder, within that folder, the R shiny will look for www folder, and within that folder, it will look for this image file, which will be named as this. If there will be no www folder located, you will get an error. So make sure that you have created a folder in a uh, where your code is located by named as www. And after that, I will specify that what is the height and the width of that picture will be uh, in my shiny dashboard. So I will say height is equal to 200 pixels. And I will be writing down the length. So the width is equal to, I'm just giving some arbitrary number. You are, can also give the numbers according to your need, and then I will be saying comma alternative. So what is this alternative is that if there is an error occurs, so this thing, the text here or whatever you write down here, suppose if there is no picture in that folder or the picture name or the name of the picture is different than what I have written down here, it will give an error and the error will be written down whatever you have write down here. So let's see if I say something went wrong. I will show you guys when it gets active. And after that, there's another feature or function that I will use that I will use in delete file is equal to false. So delete file is equal to false. I'm writing down this thing because once the code will run, the R shiny will get the image from that folder and delete it. But I don't want to delete it because I will be using this code again and again. So that's why I'm writing this thing. So I think everything is done. Let's uh, execute it. Control S. Let's run this app. So you can see that I have added the image here. It's coming from this folder, this www. This is the pick one, which I have successfully added to our shiny. Now there are two kind of things. This is a PNG file dot PNG. Let's see if I intentionally made an error here. So if I accidentally write down here JPG. So there is an error occurred, but instead of showing any picture, it will be written down something went wrong. So I will say run app. So you can see now within my window, there is no picture shown, but here it is written down as something went wrong. But I will correct it down with PNG. So another thing is that suppose if I run this file and but you guys, one thing you guys want to know that uh, this picture is shown on a very side, the one left hand side. Suppose if I want this picture to be aligned in the center, you can do that thing. Suppose let's see if I want to do that. 
so in order to do that, what I will be doing, I will be creating, I will be right, I will be using another HTML tag. Uh, that tag is div. So div actually creates sections in your report. So I'll be saying, okay, div. And within div, I will be using, I will be putting all this uh, image tag into within the div. And I will want to be shown in the center. In order to show in the center, I'll be using style is equal to, and within in this uh, inverted format, I will be writing down text dash line. Center and end with colon. So now let's see if I execute it now like this. Uh, probably it will be aligned in the center. I have here. I have two. No, it's not minus sign. It's plus plus sign. Let me check. I think I'm doing something wrong here. Sorry, actually, uh, I was writing down here. We have to write minus and we have to write semicolon here. And now, if I execute it, probably it will be written down uh, that graph will be shown in the center. Now you can see that this picture is shown in the center now. So the next thing I want to do now is so I have shown you guys that how you can align it. So the second thing is that uh, currently I have imported the image by using the HTML tag, but you can also use the render image to get a file. Uh, the good thing about render image is that you don't need to make that www folder. You just have to place the picture in the same uh, folder where your code is located. So in order to do that, let's go to my shine server and back to my server. And within here, I will be writing down. So I'll be saying first, I will be creating an output object. Output dollar. And I will be naming it as my image. You can name it whatever you want. And then I will be using sign sign, then I will be using render image. Render image. And within that, I will be using, I will be defining a list. So that list will be kind of a file path that where the image is located. So I'll be using list. And within the list, I will be mentioning the, almost the same things that I have mentioned above. So I can copy paste it. Uh, copy from here, mention it here again, and that's very much. So, after that, what I will do, I will here again. So here I don't need to mention this. I have to delete it from here because this is just a list. And the, but the thing is that once you will define your list, so what it's doing is actually telling that where the image is located and what is the dimensions that you want in our shiny. But here you will, again I will be mentioning within after the list. That I don't want to delete uh, the file after importing it into our shiny. So I will copy it from here and mention this argument here again. So, so this is the way you can use render image to import an image into our shiny. And for this, you don't need uh, you don't need to create www folder. So if I take back to my folder. Uh, this is the folder that you guys are using. So here you can see that I have two picks, pick one and pick two. Pick one is the same as which is in www. 
so but I can import pig2 now which is in jpg format so let's say if instead of uh, pig1 I will be saying pig2 here and here I will be using jpg and now what I will do here is within the my main panel now I will be calling this image uh, comma and I'll be calling it by using image output. So image output and I'll be mentioning my image output as uh, the name of my image is my image. So image. So let's see if it is it able to do it or not. Now I can run app maybe. So now if I run it, so you can see that uh, there is an image got added. So this is the spec2 image which is a JPG file which I got imported. You can further also align it in the center the way we did it before. Let's quickly do it. So if I want to do it, uh, I will be saying I will be using div bracket bracket close for the div. Then within comma, I want it to be aligned in the center. And copy it, paste it here. Now S. Let's run it again. We have added two inverted. Let's run it again. So it's selected. So now you can see that uh, the pictures got aligned in the center. You can play around with the height and the width of these images. The next thing, suppose if you want that you okay, you have added two images, but you want uh, images side by side, not uh, over each other. So let's add the same two images but now side by side so again i will be uh, what i will do now i'll be using a fluid row and what fluid row will do it will add a row uh, below it and then i will divide that row into two columns and within each column i will be defining that which element i want to see and even i will be able to define the width of each column so let's do quickly that thing so Again, I want to uh, insert a new uh, new output to my main panel, which will be actually derived from the above two. So what I will do, I'll be saying fluid row. I will want to say that add fluid row, and within the fluid row, I will be saying uh, column. Add a column, and within the add the column, I will be first defining the width of my column so width is you can uh, for me i will be using width is good file but if you can change it according to your need for these images or the size of the images that i want to show i think width 5 will be fine and after that i'll be saying that what is the object that i want to show after in that cell so what i will do if i want to use this image so i will just simply copy only the image part Only the image part and just paste it here and after the columns I will be pressing comma again and I will be define my second column and after that I will be mentioning the width again so again you could do five again you have to play around with this the width according to your image according to your table or according to your graph and the second image, the point, the second object that I want to show is this image output. Okay, I will paste it here. So I think everything looks good. Uh, execute it now. I think 
So let's control S D and let's run it. I got an error. Let me check what where the error got after. Actually, the code is fine, but it's having some issues with the dimension of the page. So suppose if I remove the, the picture that we have added vertically, so if I just comment out that part, um, this this was already the comma. So let's play it now. So now you can see that we have added the graphs uh, side by side with the help of fluid row. So when you will be dealing with the images and when you will be uh, plotting those things in R shiny, be careful because then dimensions become a bit, uh, dimension of the page can be a bit problematic, but you have to play around where you think that things become fine. So I will go back and now the next thing is that I would like you guys to tell is that how you will be able to add image so sorry the video file so i have already shown you guys that how you can add image how you can add images one by one and then how you can use fluid row to add images side by side so the next thing is that i want to show you guys that how you guys can add a video file so the most easiest way suppose if you have a uh, if you suppose if you're watching a video on YouTube and you like that video and you want to add that video on your uh, shiny page you can simply do it by using HTML and within that you will be, be using apostrophe marks and here what I will do is that I will add the embedded video link so in order to do that embedded video link what I will do, I will go to my browser, suppose this is the video I want to add, I have just randomly selected. So you would say share, and within the share you will see that there is here an embedded link. You will just simply copy it. Once you copied it, you can simply paste it here. And now I think it's ready to go. It's very simple, so let's play run app. Save selected. So, open the browser. You can see that video got added into your shiny. Uh, you can even center align this pay thing by using the div function that we have talked before. So, I will just delete this, uh, close it, and I will go back to my code. But there is another uh, thing, so if you have a video file, as I have shown you guys that I have a video file within my, uh, this www folder. And you can also add this video by using a HTML tag video. So now I will show you guys that how you can do that. As you can see the video name is video123. And now this time I will be using uh, HTML tag again uh, for the video. This way is it's to do if you if you have the embedded link of that video. Another way of is that if you have the video file in your laptop and you want to add it on your R Shiny, how you can do this. So what I will do, I will write down tags. Sorry, for for that I will be adding comma because it's within the main panel. Then it's tags dollar video. Say that here is the tag which is coming from HTML tags video, and within that, what I will be mentioning here is very much the same thing that I have mentioned for the image. So I will be just what I will be doing, I'll better to just copy the thing that I have done before and change a bit according to my need, paste it here instead of where. Pick one, and the thing is video one two three, video one two three dot mp4. It's an mp4 file. 
and before specifying the height and the width I will be mentioning one more functionality which is the type here again type is equal to again I will be mentioning inverted commas video if the type is video slash mp4 and I think I'm happy with the height and the width so I think let's say 400 width to be increased to 400 and again I will be writing down if there's an alternative text that something went wrong to print this thing and if I say delete file don't delete file after loading it on to our shiny uh, another thing that I would like to add here is the controls. So controls will allow you to play or pause the video in order to add those controls. It's equal to I'll be using the control functionality which comes within this tag and I'll be mentioning controls if I want to see controls. I think everything is fine. Now I can execute the code. Uh, I think there is some inverted commas. Work. Let me check. There is an error coming here. Probably I have uh, unbalanced brackets. Yes, there was a, a, a extra bracket here. I removed it. So now I think the code is ready to go. Let's control save it and run this app. And let's see. Open in the browser. So you can see that we have added the image, we have added the video which is coming from uh, YouTube and then you can see that here is the video which is a 14 second video which is coming from uh, from my computer drive. So here, so you can see that how easily we have added images and we have played around with the formatting, how you can align those images. Uh, so. This is all about how you can add images and videos.